thousands have lost their livelihoods in India and the world. As 2020 brought with it a crisis no one could have imagined. The worst hit have been the most vulnerable, those on the borderline who have been pushed out. It is they who need the most help. At Social Venture Partners, leaders from across the globe have been working together for two decades to help bridge the gap and transform lives. The mission is to help create a million livelihoods by 2022 by working with organizations committed to change. Social Venture Partners has one important mission globally, which is to bring equity back into the world because there is so much of divisiveness and factionalism that's happening in every part of the world that we really believe that we should do our bit to make equity happen, get othering out of the phenomenon that we see everywhere and bring more inclusion in the world. The issue of creating sustainable livelihoods is the biggest concern across the world today and in India, it is at a crisis point. To address this, SVP works on two aspects, funding social ventures that are creating jobs and working with them to scale up and build capacity. Often, it's a combination of the two. This is led by the various chapters of SVP spread across the country. I'm personally very proud of two things in SVP India, particularly over the last three years. We've seen every one of our city chapters focused on growth, growth and impact, growth in the community we serve and growth in the number of partners who are engaged in a common agenda. I'm also very proud of the fact that we are now seriously looking at engaging youth into our venture because it's young minds, young spirit, young philanthropic efforts that will make all the difference. So I think these two for me are extremely important aspects of the brotherhood and the partnership that we've built and will continue to build going forward. SCP is driven by seven city chapters spread across India. The team is young and ambitious, and it has been able to scale up the reach and impact, allowing philanthropists to really drive change. In Bangalore, the SVP chapter is focused on helping solve complex challenges and create impact at scale. Over the last nine years, they have been funding programs that have come with significant risk and require patience. This has paid off, as can be seen with the success of projects like Justice and Care that works with destitute women and Atri that supports forest communities in the Western Ghats by providing them a means of livelihood. We have been working in Biyadans and Ahmeds, a part of Western Ghats, more than 20 years. And we are working very closely with the community to enhance their income from lantana or uh, invasive species like weeds to wealth concept. But we started a few years back and we are not able to uh, make a dent in terms of increasing the business and uh, uh, designing the products. And thanks to SVP, SVP is uh, helping us to create a sustainable business model for the company. This project is exciting because it allows SVP partners to bring their corporate and business skills and acumen to the immense wealth of field expertise and knowledge that ATRI has to create social enterprises that will bring lasting change across the Western Ghat and Southern Forest region, but also creates a template that could potentially impact the forests across India and the environment across the rest of the world. SCP Bangalore has also given wings to Justice and Care's efforts to not only rescue victims of human trafficking, but also rehabilitate them through training and access to a better livelihood for a better future. We have reached out to SDP for support for our skill training and placements program. However, the collaboration has gone much beyond that. But we have received immense support from all the SDP partners, even before we have asked for them. Since we have been partnering with SVP, we have seen that there is immense potential in collaborating with all the SVP partners to address the issue of human trafficking. SVP Hyderabad's key focus area has been agriculture, 
digital transformation and entrepreneurship. SPP Hyderabad is currently more than five long-term in-depth capacity building engagements with our community partners. These are Youth for Jobs that works with persons with disability, Craftsman and Safa that work with women from marginalized communities, Access Livelihoods Group that works with farmers, drivers and weavers, and Kedi that works with small and marginal farmers. Kedi started in late 2015. They provide greenhouse in a box solution to small and marginal farmers. In this greenhouse, a farmer can earn extra income of 6,000 every month by just spending one or two hours every day in the field. One of the biggest challenges that we noticed with respect to our farmers and uh, scaling this initiative is financing. Farmers require loans to buy these assets, but banks generally are not willing to give loans to smallholder farmers for asset financing because after all, they are not bankable customers. So this was the biggest challenge that we faced. The role of SVP in this process is quite commendable. One of our partners connected us with Andhra Pradesh Grameen Vikas Bank. It has an excellent network in the areas where we work and uh, in simple terms, the loan processing time got reduced uh, to one fourth compared to what it was earlier. SCP Hyderabad also supports Safa on its innovative program called Noor Salons with a vision to make beauty and wellness accessible for and by the women from underserved communities. They also focus on women empowerment in the city with livelihood training programs. What I truly found meaningful in the partnership, which was very different in SVP, was that they have this immense treasure trove of talent and skills with them, which is extremely senior lead leaders from corporate houses, from the business entities, especially to Safa. That entire, basically it was like an array, like a buffet, which was put out in front of us. And they said that uh, you want help in finance, we have the right person. You want help in organizational management, we have somebody. In business and uh, budgeting, we have people with us. And uh, for us, it was like uh, we were looking for such kind of opportunities for ourselves. Uh, and there's only one thing which I can say uh, that we met SVP in our 11th year of work. And I wish we had met them in the second or the third year of work. Probably this entire journey would have been less stressful for us. SAP's journey in Kolkata started over two years back and the key focus here has been on helping create sustainable livelihoods and inclusive employment that is not just focused on women but also the differently abled individuals. During the last two years, the Kolkata chapter has tried to do some great work in creating sustainable livelihoods. We have worked with five NGOs three relationships which are already in their second year and two relationships which have just begun. These are Literacy India, Sukalyan Welfare Society, Mitti Cafe, Kadam and Anahat for Change Foundation. The numbers uh, at the end of 2021 would be over 600 impacted sustainable livelihoods. An association that uh, we are extremely, extremely proud of is the one with Mitti Cafe. Having met Alina in Bangalore and having just had a you know, coffee table discussion with her about bringing Mitty to Calcutta and actually seeing it turn into reality has been a dream come true. Alina has been featured in the Forbes Under 30 this year and has also received the Helen Keller Award. Mitty Cafe has new hope for me and light. SCP found Mitty Cafe three years ago when they were one cafe one month and three employees old. And they are giving a chance of livelihood to those who really need it the most. Our first employee was this girl who came in crawling for the interview because at that point of time her parents could not afford a wheelchair. It's been three years for that girl. Today, sitting on her wheelchair, she manages seven other people with disability. She is the manager for our first cafe. Her name is Kirti and at Mitti we have you know, hundreds of Kirtis who've been trained and employed by us in our various cafes. The aim is not one Kirti, but a billion Kirtis. In the last three years, we've been able to serve 
5 million meals across our 12 cafes uh, you know this would be a several more million uh, that will enable us to create awareness about inclusion when our dream of making the world believe in the power and the magic of abilities would come true not for our kirti but for the billion kirtis uh, you know who have one or the other physical intellectual or psychiatric disability across the world sap has not just helped mitti scale it has also helped it add a new dimension to the work it has been doing during the current pandemic mitti has provided 7 lakh meals to daily wage workers meanwhile Kadam, another not-for-profit supported by SVP Kolkata, focuses on rural entrepreneurship. It does so by training these communities that are skilled in creating products from locally available material. More than six thousand lives we have touched by our with our trainings. Six hundred artisans have been working with us. So the last mile in terms of the market linkage uh, was uh, a challenge for us to ensure. the trainings do not go waste especially after they have learned how to make a marketable quality deliverable on time and you know product delivered on time those skills they had uh, taken on in the kolkata chapter the discussion started about a year ago uh, and they were very open to offer and fill in that need which we had for our organization and not have a rigid format to, for us to fit in uh, you know and uh, so they offered this last mile which we really needed for all the trainings to be successful 100% SCP's Delhi chapter began its journey in 2016 with a mission to create sustainable livelihood models through their mentoring and advisory they have played a key role in scaling the future of youth at Virohan and Uden Care in the country's capital one of our non profits is virohan virohan is trying to address the skill gap in the healthcare sector the solution includes a large spectrum of skill training in healthcare from bedside assistant to operation theater technicians when we first met virohan they were an ngo bright young founders and a great pedagogy we helped them through the process of converting into a for profit organization as we believed that their model self sustainable and scalable over a period of time workforce readiness is a huge problem in india there is a huge disconnect between demand and supply of the skills in the workforce across sectors forcing the youth to compromise on aspirations income and location in the healthcare sector this problem is especially acute and we wanted to fix that while we've been focusing on supporting our students who are out there social venture partners has been doing the same for us they have been a pillar of strength and support to us for most of our journey in building this organization everyone at svp is very approachable they spend time with us in breaking down complex issues and finding solutions share their learnings from across sectors and help us leap forward while virohan works towards guiding youth who are college dropouts udayan care in its state of the art orphanages not only provides child care to orphan kids but also acts as a support system and safety net to them after they move out of these orphanages Udayan Cares Association with SVP is now in its 5th year and it is so much more than that of a donor and donee relationship it's a partnership because SVP is an inv- involved philanthropy in every sense our team that have been looked after and mentored by Harsh Lohit through our IT program as it grew has really really flowered and blossomed under his care right from the head of the program to every trainer who teaches every child that comes into our program we're now starting our relationship in this year for our aftercare outreach program and once again we've benefited from the involvement of various members of SVP Bobby Ben is today an icon Belonging to the Kachirabari community, she is the proud owner of a franchise that has made her famous. Her handcrafted bags are popularly known as Pabi bags and can be found in shelves across India. Today Pabi Ben is inspiring and empowering others like her. 
SVP Ahmedabad has been a part of Pavi Ben's fabulous story. It supports Banintree, which runs Karigar Clinic, an NGO that helped Pavi Ben script the success. While Karigar Clinic's Nilesh had helped Pavi Ben set out in her journey, his association with SVP helped him put structure to his plans and ambitions for others like Pavi Ben. He had helped build a brand for her called pavibend.com. In 3 years from earning about 200 rupees a day this woman started earning 30 lakhs a year and was employing about 200 artisans um, in her organization. But beyond this Nilesh Bhai was quite lost as to how to move ahead and how to help other craftsmen and women achieve their dreams. This is where the SVP partners came in. Um, they helped him institutionalize the organization be it from uh, assisting him in the nitty-gritties of how to go about accounting or, or uh, what kind of labor laws would apply to the proprietorships he was trying to create um, to how to build layers within his organization which would sustain growth. SVP is not funding, but for funding, wherever there is a need, SVP always supports us. SVP is a different organization के साथ नेटवर्क एस्टेब्लिश करने में हेल्प करता है और साथ साथ में ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्ट्रक्चर को मजबूत करने के लिए सपोर्ट करता है और डिसिप्लिन वे में कैसे काम करना है उसके ऊपर भी वो अपने गाइडेंस देता रहता है Entrepreneurship has been at the heart of SVP Ahmedabad's focus and it has also worked with tribal communities it supports the Aga Khan Foundation's Rural Entrepreneurship Program, which does deep-rooted work with these communities. The biggest learning we are having in this initiative is that tribal communities are first-generation entrepreneurs. That they need long-term interventions, long-term hand-holding, and much-needed professional uh, services for making these enterprises sustainable. We found SVPs services very useful particularly because of their professional capabilities and the networking they have in business world. In Pune, SVP has touched the lives of the people in rural and semi-rural areas. Two interventions that I think I'm really proud of is one with an NGO called Jaguti Seva Saustha where we train uh, girls to become nursing aides, that's bedside assistants. And uh, I think why I'm really proud of is in our journey with them for, uh, for the last four years, we've been able to change over a thousand lives, which I think uh, is a brilliant um, thing to achieve. And uh, changing lives of thousand women also means changing lives of those thousand families. <laughs> Subhash Bhande is a trainer at the Jagruti Seva Sanstha. He talks about how the healthcare assistants that trained under him have helped over 1200 people recover from the COVID-19 pandemic. Pamcham vidyarthi nilni gramin bhagamadhe tya tya bhagamadhe TRP BP tya nagrikancha check karun survey kela ani ya survey madun jawal jawal 1200 nagrik ashe niwadle ki jancha BP jasta hai janna tivra sardi khokla ani taap ahe hi mandali jeva tyancha tyancha एरिया तील खासगी दवा खाने में देगे ली तब वाले तरह कुटला एक खासगी डॉक्टर नहीं उपचार सटे घितला नहीं तब ना अपन बर्फ करो शक्लो अन्य है केवल यस्वीपी अन्य जागरूकते में शक्य दाल। The other intervention that I really think is an interesting one and I think I would love to work with them even in the future is called Nyanada Flow Piping Technology. Uh, what they are aiming to do is training plumbers, men and women for plumbing because there's a huge requirement and also training them to become entrepreneurs, micro-entrepreneurs, which is the need of the hour. We have been providing placement to all our students. So far, we have given 100% jobs to all of our students. So all of our students, uh, just after the training of 60 days, 60 days technical training, they are definitely getting, I showed they are getting a job of rupees 10,000 to 12,000 per month. Many of our students have created their own success stories and they are working on their own. 
and their turnovers are ranging from 25 lakhs to almost uh, 3 crores by providing access to livelihoods to people from lower income backgrounds has been the key focus area for SVP it has supported pan iit reach for india foundation or parfi a non profit engaged in providing vocational education training and placement one of the organizations that svp mumbai chapter is extremely proud to be associated with is parfi parfi has a very simple livelihood model with the help of its lead partner jagdish acharya parfi was successfully able to connect with crompton greaves they organized a session with them at their jharkhand center crompton greaves then sourced about 100 uh, plumbers welders and electricians for their organization parfi trained them for 3 or 4 months and then placed them at crompton greaves giving them a guaranteed job and helping them increase or enhance their livelihood the partnership with svp over the past many years have been wonderful it emanates from the fact that we've learned it very deeply that collaboration is the only way to enable scalable successful models in this space svp has been a wonderful network in form of just not enabling funding but also giving extremely valuable mentoring and strategic inputs to make this happen Apart from helping solve the need for everyday technicians, SCP is also helping a not-for-profit like Souls Arc. Established about 17 years ago, they have helped educate, train, and create livelihoods for the differently abled. Our focus was to ensure that vocational opportunities or higher education opportunities are available for everyone, and our special focus became individuals or young adults with autism and intellectual disabilities. Uh, one of the biggest challenge that we saw is that today there are no there's no certification available for this population. There are no training courses which are available for them. There is also no recognition from the industry or the government, uh, or no initiatives from them to ensure that they get employed in the open market or the open workforce. SVP not only supported financially the pilot, but also helped them connect with potential employers like Big Bazaar, Amazon, and Flipkart. and have been able to do job mapping for these beneficiaries and making sure that they are able to work in such environments and create a better sense of livelihood for these beneficiaries driven by passion and the mission to make a change scp chapters across india have helped over 50 ngos scale and create livelihoods this impact has been made possible because of another important element SVP leans heavily on the experience of the business leaders who act as chairs of each of our city chapters. Our chairs and partners are leaders who have made a mark in the corporate world and bring along their wealth of experience and best practices from them. For the business leaders themselves, the journey with SVP has been personal. One of the things that I find most satisfying about being involved with SVP Mumbai is when we see our NGOs flourish as a result of the efforts put in by our partners. Our diverse partner group have skills in so many different areas and they apply those skills to improve the outcomes at our NGOs and I think that that's a great reward for both the NGO and the partners. What appealed to me was it is an involved philanthropy. Philanthropy by just writing a check and forgetting about it is doesn't end in itself. It's not an end in itself. getting involved in uh, more big, bigger impact so that the ngos that are working on ground can be more effective more far reaching and create more big, bigger impact i think that is the concept that spb is working on and that is what appealed to me and that is why i think i got involved fully in spb after 6 years i can say that what i'm proud of is the fact that we have helped crack some fairly elusive problems and create a success stories for them uh, be it agriculture where we have demonstrated that we could uh, triple farmer incomes in three in a 3 to 5 year time frame or disability uh, where we have proven that livelihoods and disability do not diverge and in fact go hand in hand uh, and we are creating new models for and uh, livelihoods related to environment as well the blessings and good wishes that you get 
from the NGOs and beneficiaries are my source of inspiration and I feel the most valuable possession that I have. It is indeed a very humbling and enriching experience. Wish I had not waited till my retirement from the corporate sector to be part of this wonderful SVP family. When you work with other like-minded partners and then you see the joy in a blind young woman who gets a really good job or the confidence of a poor uneducated woman to stand in front of a large audience and give a speech or you see a family of a sex worker rehabilitated that joy is also an order of magnitude. So this is a wonderful thrilling journey I do feel that I am learning a lot more myself than I am giving I am a part of SVP because I can engender change ethically and alongside some of the finest people on this earth. SVP has been a gratifying journey from understanding the minds of donors to using skill sets and networks to help NGOs function effectively. I've been a partner at SVP Pune since its inception almost five years ago. I think SVP, the chapter here, has been able to do many, many wonderful things and has had a huge impact. If I think of the two largest impacts that it has had is really creating livelihoods for the most vulnerable of our population in the city. Uh, SVP has also looked at what gaps are existing, for example, healthcare workers, which are in need across the city in smaller hospitals and clinics, as well as in large, organize, uh, large medical organizations. And those gaps have been so effectively and adequately filled by, the, by SVP's initiatives. When a partner walks up to me and says, I've loved engaging with this NGO, I feel I've learned a lot, and I feel I want to do much more in the sector. That to me is the most satisfying moment for me uh, at SVP. What's equally satisfying is when an NGO walks up to me and says, I'd, I know that we finished our three years with you as SVP, but I'd like your partners to continue engaging with us. As I take on the mantle of the chairperson for SVP India, I have a huge responsibility ahead of me. SVP has been built on the foundation of strong contributions by Ravi Venkateshan and Ganesh Natarajan as prior chair, chair people. It's very important that I build on that foundation and really make impact across India, across our seven chapters and taking that to even a, a larger pan-India focus. The success of SVP has been driven by a clear vision, backed by passion and a meticulous game plan. SVP chapters have leveraged the learnings from the best practices adopted for corporate success and used it to build capacity and scale in NGOs, which are the change agents on ground. This strategy has helped SVP across the world and never has the need for it been so clear as it is today. What I love about SVP and why I stay engaged is that I think we have fundamental ingredients around how to go about social change. One is that we do it together, recognizing that we're more powerful as a collective than we are as individuals. Another is that it's about giving money plus other resources. Partners are giving time and using their skills and their voices to influence change as well. And third, that we're always learning. We approach problems knowing we don't have all the answers. And I believe that the secret sauce to SVP is those partnerships we have in our communities with nonprofit leaders and our proximity to learning about what's happening on the ground that makes all of us not only better givers, but more aware and better human beings.